Wild rabbits cost Australian farmers just over $200 million a year. Mary Smith has been trying to control them in her vineyard in WA Southwest for a decade. What have you found, Maddie? Hey? It just it does seem you get a few dead rabbits um, and then you don't see any for a while and then all of a sudden you've got you know, 50 rabbits hooning around on your front lawn. But it's not just her property. Rabbit numbers are on the rise all over the southwest. The existing Khaleesi virus, called K5, has been getting released since 2017, but a new strain called RHDV2 could soon be available. We're waiting with bated breath to get a new tool in the pocket for rabbit control. At the moment, where we've got the K5 and that's fantastic, but as soon as we have access to that RHDV2 virus, I think we'll have even more success. RHDV2 was discovered in Australia in 2015, and just how it got here is still unknown. But scientists are studying its deadly spread. The Centre for Invasive Species Solutions is working to register the strain as a biological control against rabbits from 2023. So the idea is that by registering RHDV2 as a new biocontrol, we will be able, it will be able to be released at a location but it will, and have an impact on the rabbit population at that location, but it will also spread from there. But the virus is also devastating rabbits kept as pets or commercially farmed. You want this? Their owners are calling for a vaccine before it's widely released. Yeah, good boy. I've seen too many deaths. Vets can't do anything. You don't know it's going to happen until they're dying in front of you. And it's an extremely painful death. I couldn't sit there and watch that. And some farmers are wary of moving too fast. I'm also picking up double Gs and digging out kike and black beetle and all sorts of things that were, you know, introduced with all the best intention. So, you know, I'm, as much as I'm anxious to get a real good solution, I'm also realistic about what the downsides could be. Scientists say a vaccine is already on its way. John Daly, ABC News, Ferguson Valley.